bed at 8, up at 8.30, to rush to work by 9. The life of a college student. At least I work on campus. I'm lucky enough to have a work study in audio maintenance. I've learned quite a bit. Like how to fix headphone jacks underneath the desk of the mini lab. I also learned a bit about installation. Like when I was supposed to route the built-in output on the Mac to alt source 7 and 8 on the 002. I thought it was going to be very simple. But everything was locked in place. And I didn't have keys. Or her body strength. stand on my feet. Oh, hey Addy. Hey. You look like crap. Thanks. I was um, up all night in the studio. You should get some sleep. Seriously. I, I'm, I'm scheduled to work today. Well, you know I can cover your shift. Just get out of here. You need some sleep. Don't worry. Let's okay. go. Go. Hey. Hey, wake up. You gotta go to class. Oh, God. Remembers phase and polarity from audio fundamentals. Great. What we know is that something that is 180 degrees out of phase, phase deals with time. If we have something that's 180 degrees out of phase, that yields the same result as something that has inverted polarity dealing with voltage. What is the result of either of those? Anybody? The two sounds cancel each other out. Exactly, they cancel each other out. Now, what if I have two sounds that have the same amplitude and I add them together? They double in amplitude? They double in amplitude. Exactly, it's giving us twice the output. So instead of being here, we're going to be 6 dB hot. Now, if we look at our 46 drum tracks, let's listen to this. We're seeing meters, right? What are we hearing? Or what aren't we hearing? We're hearing nothing. Phase is playing a significant role here. If I have these all going out the same output, their phase relationship is exploited. What we're seeing here is how the amplitudes are all aligned perfectly off. And they're all canceling each other out. This is why whenever we place a mic on a source, we have to make sure that if we're multiple miking, we keep in mind the three to one rule, stating that if a microphone is X from a source, X distance, the second mic should be three X, therefore alleviating phase differentials. Thanks to programming, Beat Detective, and a good song, the class eventually created something commercially viable despite a messy beginning. I just feel lucky I had an old friend to help me, and a new one as well. Kelly did well on the assignment. She actually got extra points for doing something theoretically impossible. Perfect phase cancellation. I learned a lot from that first session. One, how it sounds always depends on where you're standing. Two, glass windows can be very hard to see. And three, I think I just lost my train of thought. <laughs>